Hi, and welcome to MODS. We're keeping you connected to inspiring science with virtual camp discovery brought to you by Citrix, the museum's official innovation partner. Today, we're making elephant toothpaste, a giant foaming reaction that's big enough for an elephant's toothbrush. Hi, welcome back to the Museum of Discovery and Science. I'm Brady. I'm Michael. And we're here in our hangar. And Michael, looks like we're set up for quite an experiment today. You want to tell us what we're doing? Yeah, I would love to. So we are going to do probably one of my most favorite experiments. It was probably one of the first big experiments I actually did when I uh, working here at the Museum of Discovery and Science. And we are doing something that is going to give us a really impressive reaction. Okay. But let's rewind to everybody's kind of grade school days when okay. It was science fair time and you were struggling to do something and so what you did was a volcano. Okay. Right? And everybody knows the baking soda vinegar, mm -hmm. you mix the two of them together and wow. they, yeah. correct, they just create this eruption and there's lots of fizzing and it gives off carbon dioxide, right? Yeah. Our experiment today when we do it, it is going to give off a couple of things. It's gonna give off heat. So actually okay. once we do this, we're gonna actually get to see like the mm. steam coming off of it. It's got quite the temperature to it. Okay. It is also going to be giving off water vapor just into the air. You're gonna see some of that coming off of there. Now, what we're using for this experiment, we're using dishwashing liquid. Okay. We're gonna use some food coloring because right. we love to have colors to everything, Mind right? As well. We're gonna use peroxide. Now, this is not the peroxide you use at home that you would. It's what I put, uh, like when I get a cut or something, I put right. it on the cut and sometimes it fizzes up. Right, that's usually 3% yeah. hydrogen peroxide. Okay. This is 30% hydrogen oh, wow. peroxide. Wow, so it's 10 times more intense. Correct. So if you put this on your skin, it actually would, it's corrosive, so it would kind of rot the skin. So you don't want oh. to use this one. Um, the other uses for hydrogen peroxide would be to bleach your hair. Okay. So that can also be very but intense. But that's just not this hydrogen peroxide. Not but this the hydrogen peroxide. Right? Okay. That, that's more of a 20 volume. So mm. this is a much more intense hydrogen peroxide. Okay. And if you notice, we don't have it out right now and it's kept in a dark bottle. The reason for that is the oxygen in the air will actually um, quickly decrease the effectiveness of this peroxide. Okay. And then we're also going to use sodium iodide as our catalyst that is going to make this reaction happen. Okay. So we're going to get to see this just really crazy thing. Now this right. is not something you could do at home. We're still going to warn you, please don't try this at home because the chemicals in order to buy them, you have to buy them from a science distributor mm -hmm. and you have to be a science museum or a yes. school. So teachers, you can get this kind of stuff, but students not going to be able to, can't find it on Amazon. It's against the law to ship it anyway. So, okay. all right. So here we go. First thing we're gonna do okay. is we are going to add some dishwashing liquid. So okay. I'll let you go ahead. Just give us a good, fun, healthy squirt. Go ahead, just go ahead, go perfect. Right there, that okay. looks great. Okay, and then I'm gonna let you decide on the food coloring, uh, whichever you decide. I'm gonna go with some blue. Yeah, we'll just make this a much more bluer experience. It's not sad though, this is quite exciting. Yeah. Go ahead, give it a, it's gonna need a okay. some more in there. And then I'm gonna let you measure this out. We're gonna need 50 mLs of hydrogen peroxide. 50 milliliters, I'm gonna put on so some. So 50 milliliters of here. hydrogen peroxide, correct. And you wanna be very careful while pouring. Like I said, this is corrosive to the skin. Wow, I can smell it already. Perfect. And when you're measuring these, you want to remember that you want to measure to the bottom of the bubble. Um, never measure to the top because you're going to be off a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and add that right in there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now we're just going to give this a little mix. We want to make sure we have everything. And then the next, so we're going to take this stuff off the table just okay. to be safe. Perfect, and now the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to add a sodium iodide solution okay. right to this, and what is going to happen is this is going to create a very intense reaction. It is going to shoot up, and we'll just see what happens. Okay. So here we go, we're gonna go right. in. Would you like to pour it or would you like me to? Uh, why don't you go ahead okay. on this one? Okay, so here we go, we're gonna go in three, two, and one. Perfect, and so Whoa. there we go. We've got our 
reaction occurring right here. The soap is reacting. It's giving us all these bubbles and you can see all of that steam coming off. Anytime you're giving off heat in a reaction, this is actually called an exothermic reaction. You're giving off heat. So we can see that. And that is also the water vapor coming off of here. Even putting our hand here, go ahead Brody, I'll just right over here. You can feel the oh, heat. Oh yeah, wow coming off of this. It's like you open the oven. Right now. And once again, we just clean this all up. We rinse this down because this is all mixed together, just giving us this hot soapy mess, which is absolutely awesome. It also turned kind of green. And the reason for that is the oxygen is reacting with this and you're getting that oxidation, which is giving off a different color. Oh. So you can also see that we have like yellow around the edges here. Oh yeah, definitely. As well. It also kind of, yeah, I, I get in those, those dishes. So I'm getting a whole wide range of aromas coming through on right. this. Uh, and also getting the effect. Now I know why it's called elephant toothpaste, because it looks like you just squeeze a huge elephant-sized yep. toothpaste tube <laughs> right all out of the it. Table. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Virtual Camp Discovery. Special thanks to Citrix, Mod's official innovation partner for powering this series. Please stay safe and connected with mods by visiting our social channels at MODSFTL.